again, as we proceed through the material, uh, we get to the chapter that uh, talks about this very, very large and broad concept of value, but then creates a focus for us to allow our students to view this idea of value uh, through specific lenses. Uh, let me spend just a few moments on each one of these opportunities, these lenses, if you will, and uh, see if we can gain a, a mutual understanding of that and then be able to relay that information to our students effectively. First, we reemphasize this idea of really what is value. And as you see throughout the literature, the uh, emblem of the balance beam, that idea of the balance between what do I give and what do I get as a customer is really the essence of value. Another thing to understand here, and uh, it's an idea that often escapes us if we're not careful about it, is the concept of who creates value? Who really defines what value is? Well, as a, as a manufacturer or as a service provider, we might say, well, uh, we understand the customer, we've done our research, and here's the product. It, it's, it's nascent with value. It has its own value, but that's not really the case. In reality, once again, the customer's in the driver's seat. The customer determines the value of any product or service, not the producer. The customer does. And again, this is a, a, a key learning for our students, that they need to understand and interpret their value proposition, not from a producer standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint. And if they can ground themselves in the what's in it for me for your product if I buy it, from the consumer standpoint, they'll be very far down the track of having a, an exceptional understanding of what they need to provide in terms of overall value creation for their product that can not only go into the manufacturing quality and niche uh, need that's being met, but can also be utilized in terms of the advertising and addressing those consumer behavior elements. If I really have a deep understanding of what value I'm bringing to the marketplace, I can, I can utilize that in my marketing, in my value proposition, and also in, in my uh, uh, product quality and the essence of it as it's perceived by the customer. Uh, without question, this idea of the student understanding the value proposition, what do I give, what do I get, uh, sets the stage for all the rest of the elements that we're going to talk about next.